Here we're looking at apple or crab apple, and we're just going to look at the genus. So the family is Rosaceae, and the genus is Malus. In place of the specific epithet, we'll just use the designator SPP, so Malus SPP. Let's take a look at some of the characteristics that describe apple or crab apple. Apple bark typically starts out as smooth gray, and maybe you see a little bit of a reddish color in there. And then it breaks into sort of plates, and not real distinct in terms of long vertical lines, just kind of chunks out and breaks into these platy structures. Grays, sometimes you'll see some reds, and a mix of some colors. Part of that will depend on exactly what species of apple you're looking at, or what cultivated variety. Apples, or species in the genus Malus, are alternately arranged. So here we have a, a leaf, and then a little ways up on the opposite side, another leaf. You can also see clearly the apple. Many of the apples or crab apples you see in the landscape are there for flowering purposes and produce almost no fruit or very small fruit. While technically edible, usually it's left for the birds. The twigs tend to be fairly thin, and a delicate, sometimes a reddish color, maybe a little green on the underside, depending upon how much sunlight. The bud at the end is a pointed imbricate bud. Some people mistake crab apples for hawthorn, and the real difference will be in the bud. The crab apple buds, or the apple buds, tend to be pointed, where hawthorns tend to be a glossy and a red round in color. Leaves of species in the genus Malus tend to be somewhat oval in shape, you can see a little bit difference in size, and they'll have a slightly or gently toothed margin. A little bit lighter on the underside than the above. Here you can see a couple of crab apples right next to each other. These are short statured trees, often planted for in the landscape for their flowering in the spring or you could clearly see them in orchards for apple production.